Today, I want to bring you some insights regarding the cause and the symptoms, okay? Note the word symptoms of CV that you have probably not yet heard. And no, this isn't about some patent or some P4 lab close to the seafood market, but it's about something far more profound. It is concerning the impacts, such as the inability to breathe, such as having a cough with no phlegm, rather odd for pneumonia, wouldn't you say? And things like suddenly falling over with no other signs of sickness. All of these things can be related to something completely different than a V-I-R-U-S. Well, fuck my life, that just happened. So, yeah, no matter how many of these videos we try to shit on, it's like they just keep multiplying like some weird multicellular organism that's invading people's bodies and causing gross amounts of stupidity. Oh well, we better roll the intro, I suppose. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Bomb and welcome to my channel. Tonight's piece of crazy ass craziness is brought to you by Dana Ashley. And her channel is just full of the crazy chemtrails, the fucking works. And with 246,000 subscribers, yeah, there's, there's too many stupid people in the fucking world, Jesus Christ. But, we've seen the intro, let's see what else she's got to say, shall we? Mm -hmm. So, let's explore this little reported fact about what has been happening in CH. Just say China. Look, China, 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 China. You, you can say fucking China. Coronavirus. <gasps> oh my god, YouTube's going to destroy my channel. No, they're not. Because I'm not talking bollocks unlike you. Did you know that this country went live with fully functional F-I-V-E-G. Here you can see the announcement from a Chinese website all the way back from 2018 in April that W-U-H-A-N, we all know that city by now, don't we, will be a pilot city. Here it says, a large-scale F-I-V-E-G network engineering program will be piloted in Wuhan. Why did you spell Wuhan in one sentence? and then read it in the other. And why are you spelling 5G? Fuck my life. Look, 5G, 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 Wuhan, Wuhan, 5G, coronavirus. YouTube. There, there we go. I think I got all the keywords in there, didn't I? Yeah. And, yeah, and your point being what? South Korea has had fucking 5G for months before it launched properly in Wuhan. And do you know where the main ceremony for launching 5G was in China? In Beijing! Because they had it as well. It wasn't just Wuhan that had it. Though they did a lot of testing in Wuhan, they basically just took the same sort of technology that had already been incorporated in fucking South Korea. It ends by saying, by 2020, 5G network will cover every corner of the city and be available at an affordable price. So if I go to the link and copy it, and then if I go to Facebook to share it, you can't share this link. And your post couldn't be shared because this link goes against our community standards. Really? Can't share them the link, eh? Well, here's the page. To make sure the link is right, we'll just give it a refresh. There we go. We're going to copy this link. We're going to go to here. We're going to go like that. We're going to go post and, oh look, there's the goddamn link posted, which I don't really want to share at the moment, so we'll delete that. But yes, you, you can share it, you fucking idiot. This country went live with, yep, look at your screen, guys. It went live by fall 2019. Furthermore, their hospitals have been supercharged with this most of all. FIVEG or 60 gigahertz frequencies. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get this clear. Very, very clear. You fucking moron. 5G systems do not use 60 gigahertz. They have the possibility to use it, 
but they don't. At the moment in China, they're using less than 5 gigahertz. You absolute tosspot licking f Yes, here you can see Huawei, CH biggest telecom provider, is attempting to show their philanthropy by donating FIVEG equipment to that make everybody heard about the hospital that went up in six days right did you hear that they donated the equipment to it before they even were functioning oh isn't that nice of them there were tons of articles all over the internet I was able to find talking about the hospitals being completely set up with this frequency bearing technology and your point being what Hawaii donated a load of technology it'll be a big tax write-off and the fact they would have got loads and loads of press from it. So by the time they deducted the fucking money back from tax, they probably saved money again on how much they would have paid for that much advertising. And once again, the 5G systems do not use 60 gigahertz. But you've been able to buy Wi-Fi routers with 60 gigahertz for fucking years. Now, what does it do? For those of you who don't already know, in 2015, over 200 scientists from 41 different countries already communicated their alarm to the United Nations, to the UN, and to the WHO. By 2019, 26,000 scientists had signed the petition calling for a moratorium, an urgent and complete halt to the FIVEG rollout due to its having been proven, quote, harmful for humans and the environment. So, I have some problems with this. One, that whole thing is off Principa Scientifica, or Principa Scientific. That whole website sucks balls. It's horrendously slow to the fact I can load a 1080p video much faster than I can load up just the opening page of that website. Secondly, it's also full of CO2 isn't bad for the environment, greenhouse effects don't really happen, blah de blah de blah Oh yeah, and the vaccines are bad for you ones it's a page full of woo shit whether that's just my experience of it and that's what i happen to find but yeah so fuck that shit and then you just keep going oh, 5g is bad what's bad about it because at the moment you'll probably be using the same frequencies that 5g operates in uh, america on your wi-fi it's just a different way of transmitting the data what is your problem with it? You'll happily use fucking Wi-Fi. I bet you've got a mobile phone using 4G, 3G and all that shit. But no, 5G. Oh, no. 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 The fact you say it's 60 gigahertz is just a nail in the coffin for your entire argument, really. So, FIVEG, specifically the 60 gigahertz frequency that is being used in CH right now, and, by the way, which is slated to be released all across America, has very specific biological impacts that very few people realize. You cheeky dick waffle! If you dare mention 60 gigahertz again, I'm going to reach down the computer and slap you with my testicles across your face. Because that's what you deserve for being a lying little toe rag. 5G does not use 60 gigahertz. It's shit for anything that's not the last little bit of transmission it's great for speed and low latency it's shit for distance hence why you can get it for wi-fi but for a nationwide system of communication would be an expensive pain in the ass ball sack of a thing to do and if you dare say the 60 gigahertz fucking frequency attenuates and fucking excites oxygen molecules you'll get the same goddamn treatment but also, you're not going to see any correlation of the timing of this outbreak to the release of the 60 gigahertz frequency. So, we know that 60 gigahertz has been released all across China because like America, they too have decided to make that specific millimeter wave unlicensed. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Ooh, it's got bright in here. Now, 60 gigahertz band. Because it's unlicensed, you will find that no mobile phone companies will use it. 
because it's unlicensed. You're guaranteed to get interference if every fucking Tom, Dick and Harry jumps on the same band and transmits as much or as little as whatever they fucking want. You'll get so many people complaining to the mobile phone companies, it won't be fucking worth it. Whereas with a licensed section of the spectrum, they can go, that 200 megahertz, that 30 megahertz, whatever, that is mine. No one else is allowed to transmit on that. But just because it's unlicensed doesn't mean it's not regulated. Unlicensed 60 gigahertz devices still have to operate below a certain power. So you can't just make what you want and stick it on the 60 gigahertz bandwidth. Hence why what you just showed there was for basically a virtual fiber optic system for a small town, village and places like that. Whereas they have the small transmitters on 60 gigahertz going from A to B to C to D. But they all need lots of them. And if it rains, they're probably going to be a bit shit. Hence why Wi-Fi over 60 gigahertz is good for an office, shit for transmitting around a town. Why does that matter? Just like the FCC allocated 2.4 gigahertz to be unlicensed, which is why all your Wi-Fi routers, your landline cordless phone, even your baby monitors are running on 2.4 gigahertz microwaves. Because the companies that make products that run on microwaves, they don't want to pay a separate license fee to use it. You are either lying or you're stupid. Now, it's not really about the separate goddamn license fee, is it? 2.4 gigahertz is being used now because of its limited range of fucking transmission. Because of how easily it is absorbed by water molecules, air molecules, things like that, very, very similarly to 60 gigahertz. Now, yes, the frequency was first decided on by companies that made microwaves back in 1946, but they also had a choice of the 1000 megahertz range or the 2500 to 2600 megahertz range. They decided on the 2400 megahertz range because it didn't seem there was going to be any future use for it for communications because of how limited the range of communication on that frequency is. Hence why Bluetooth uses it. 60 gigahertz has a very distinct impact on none other than oxygen itself. It's a shame this wasn't a live broadcast I caught because I'd be typing in the chat now. Don't fucking make a dick of yourself. Don't fucking make a dick of yourself. Don't fucking make a dick of yourself. Because you know what you're about to do? You're about to make a dick of yourself and say that the 60 gigahertz reacts with the oxygen, meaning that we can't absorb it or something fucking stupid like that. And you're either going to post that shitty scientific paper that doesn't actually say anything of the sort, or you're going to post something else fucking ridiculously fucking stupid. Sorry for all the fucks. They're fucking deserved with this fucking fuck. Yes, here are the articles released by companies who are touting the benefits of 60 gigahertz. They openly admit that 60 gigahertz is absorbable by oxygen. You can see in this graph here its impact on oxygen. All the frequencies before 60 gig are non-impacted. Then once it hits that frequency, it spikes and becomes hugely absorbed by oxygen. No, just fucking no. If you read the full graphs and papers and things that are involved in these, it says, yes, atmospheric oxygen, and there'll also probably be another graph for how it's absorbed when it fucking rains. Because 60 gigahertz does get absorbed, yes. It doesn't do anything to the oxygen molecules or anything like that in any way that affects us, but it does get absorbed by them. Meaning it's very handy for short use, small Wi-Fi, last mile goals and things like that, or what's the acronym? LOTs, lots of internets or something. I fucking forgot. IOTs, oh, I can't fucking remember. Who cares? But small devices, smart devices through your home. So your smart light bulbs, your smart light switches, routers, um, smart anything, smart baby cameras. I don't fucking know. Just smart stuff. The things that you're obviously fucking not. Now, in this article by the company selling products that are going to run on 60 gig, they say that it's going to help its interference levels. And most of us know from mainstream releases promoting FIVEG that things like water and trees are going to get in the way of this frequency. Knowing that this frequency impacts oxygen, now does it make sense to you how possibly when you mess with the absorption of oxygen in the human body, let me give you one guess which organ is going to suffer first. You're a complete wootard crazy person, aren't you? If 60 gigahertz was the cause of corona, like you're trying to say like some sort of crazy person, then why did it only come out last year? Where's it been for the several years beforehand 
when people have had 60 gigahertz fucking routers, should like some professional gamers not be like, oh, I've, I've had this real bad breathing condition for fucking ages. I wonder if it's anything to do with the 60 gigahertz router that I bought because it's so goddamn fast. No, they haven't, have they? You're just making shit up as you go along. You're half reading scientific articles and going, 60 gigahertz. Ooh, it's oscillating at the frequencies of oxygen and the oscilloscope is saying this. I don't know what that means, but yeah, we'll, we'll stick it in and we'll lie our fucking asses off about it. Because that's all you are, really, aren't you? You're a fucking lying toe rag. This is why you're not actually saying the words. Because you know what you're saying is fucking bollocks. And you don't want people to pull you up on it. Like YouTube going, no, you can't have fuck that fucking video, you lying little shitbag. You're going to cause a panic on people. No. While sat there using fucking Wi-Fi to upload your fucking shit at the same fucking frequency that China's fucking 5G network operates on. You fucking moron. 60 gigahertz is not used by 5G phones. 60 gigahertz has been used for security cameras and Wi-Fi for fucking years. With the advent of 5G as a better form of data transfer, 60 gigahertz is opening up to more people. But it'll still be years before you get a reasonably priced 60 gigahertz router in your home. And even then, most people probably won't go to that because you've also got to put those transmitters in devices. Do you, do you get where we're going here? Probably fucking not. We'll see if the next one minute of your video is complete and utter wootard craziness. We're just going to drop you in the bin and bar you from life from the pub. Several days later. Nope. I, I, nope. Nope. I played it through a bit and I was like, the hell, woman. She goes on about how the 60 gigahertz frequencies are affecting oxygen molecules and causing the electrons that they share to spin. And this is really bad for us. A bit like water in a microwave. Yeah, so then I decided to spend about 45 minutes going through as many fucking different pages I could find with 60 gigahertz oxygen spin, oscillation, changing words about to find anything that related to anything bad that wasn't off a homeopathy or crazy woo peddler sort of website. Guess what? Didn't find one. If someone does find one that 60 gigahertz oxygen is bad for the body that comes from anything close to a reasonable site. At this point, I take the Sun newspaper as a re more reasonable site than I could find. Because, yeah, I couldn't find fucking nothing in regards to that. The main great thing about 60 gigahertz is, say you're transmitting to your friend two kilometers down the road. And you're transmitting between 70 and 80 megahertz, uh, gigahertz. You can do it, yeah, not a problem. You drop that frequency down to 60, but keep the power levels the same, you're only going to get about 400 meters. So, yeah, this is what it does to the signal, and it's the oxygen that's attenuating the signal being transmitted. So, great for things at home, shit for anything large scale. Ugh, this woman is nutballs, and there are so many goddamn videos on her channel. How she is still on YouTube... I do not know. You get people getting taken off for stupid little things. I saw Dr. Bob had one of his fucking videos the other week doing a live stream was cancelled because he was discussing this shit. And yet this crazy woman can tell almost a quarter of a million people that, yeah, 60 gigahertz 5G is bad. Even though 5G phones don't use 60 gigahertz, but I'm going to say it anyway. <sighs> I know what I keep saying about 60 gigahertz. If anyone does ever find a phone that uses 60 gigahertz, let me know. Because I do keep checking just to make sure, but no phone company seems to be using that ever. There are no plans on using it ever. And a mobile phone company wouldn't use an unlicensed spectrum for something like a mass communication device. It would be stupid. But anyway, I am the Sarcastic Bomb, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I've rubbed this on for long enough. Bye!